So it's body sex for a reason. Notice it's not mind sex (laughs) or energy sex. (laughs) It's body sex because that is the first step to connecting to pleasure is I have to connect to my body. Mm -hmm. And we're so often in our society disconnected from our bodies as women. Um, We're shamed for our bodies as women. Shamed, it's never good enough. We all know about the beauty myth and the slut stigma and the sexual double standard and the patriarchy and all of that. And all those arguments are valid. The most feminist thing we can do is believe that our bodies exist for our pleasure and take our bodies back. Mm -hmm. Birth control is taking your body back. But we never think about pleasure as taking your body back right? Mm -hmm. Because as women, we don't trust our bodies. Mm -hmm. We're conditioned, right? Look at the medical community. They never trust what we say. And when we can have an experience like an orgasm and pull that energy through the body, Mm -hmm. we know ourselves. And when we know ourselves, right, we can speak our truth. So we have to accept our bodies. Yes. Yes. Carlin, I love the way you break it down into the steps of we need to accept our bodies, appreciate, and even love our bodies. And then on our terms, we can share our body with another person. Yes. So you can have good partner sex without loving your body. Mm -hmm. Right? You can. I'm not sure if you can have a good relationship without loving your body. Mm -hmm. If we can't love ourselves and show ourselves generosity, it's very difficult for us to show generosity to others. Mm -hmm. So as women, masturbation is a meditation. The female model of sexual response is we have to connect to our bodies, get everything started, and then we're ready to go. And we can go all night. It's very different than the male model with refractory periods. So masturbation isn't a threat. Masturbation is our an active way to build self-esteem, to connect to ourselves so that we're ready to go out. So you can't just think yourself, right, to yes. self-esteem. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you can't just think yourself to pleasure, right? Pleasure is an experience in the body. Whether it's sensual pleasure, sexual pleasure, you need to be connected to your body. So we need to touch ourselves on a regular basis. We need to look at our vulva. We need to look at our naked bodies. We need to touch our bodies and feel gratitude yes, for all that they do for us. Mm-hmm. Because it's pretty amazing that we have an organ on our body, the internal clitoris, dedicated solely to pleasure that never ages. Yes, yes. And even gets better with age. Um, absolutely. There was that big piece in the New York Times this week about the internal clitoris Mm -hmm. and how it's not studied by medical science. And when I read the article, I just thought about Betty and I was thinking you did it Mm -hmm. because Betty has run with that clitoris banner for the last 40 years. Yes. And that's it. We have to accept that the clitoris is a woman's primary sex organ. Mm Mm-hmm. Yes. And our source of pleasure and let go of the myth of the vaginal orgasm. We like to combine, but let's remember the source. Yes. Let's remember the body. Mm -hmm. Let's not get distracted by political arguments. Let's not get distracted by relationship arguments, right? Mm -hmm. There's so much swirling around us. And the beautiful thing about Betty was her ability to cut through the bullshit And bottom line, how easy it is to have pleasure in our lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's body sex. Yes. 